Welcome to the next episode of the Understanding Crypto series by Thomas Plunkett. Today we're going to do a book review of the book of Satoshi, the collected writings of Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, organized by Phil Champagne. This is a great book about Bitcoin, <coughs> giving you really what the author has done is he's assembled a number of the early internet posts of Satoshi Nakamoto, so you can read about Bitcoin from the perspective of the creator uh, using his original writings. Um, this uh, video, by the way, is available on our Creative Commons license, and this is an educational uh, video um, about the technology. This is not investment advice or legal advice. Um, so again, this is a, a great book. It's a great historical perspective on Satoshi Nakamoto's view of Bitcoin. The book includes most of Satoshi's public postings in the internet use groups from 2008 to 2010. You know, Satoshi's identity is still a secret today, but his early postings from 2008 to 2010 contain his philosophy and his rationale for creating Bitcoin and for the various technical design choices he made in his, in his or her design of Bitcoin. It includes some of Satoshi's early interactions with Hal Finney and others in the internet crypto groups. Um, some of the different topics, you know, it's a variety of posts on the internet uh, mailing lists on crypto, um, you know, posts on how and why Bitcoin works, posts on transactions, confirmations, blocks, mining, QR codes, and many other technical topics. Um, and then obviously closing off with the last few posts uh, Satoshi made, which were around WikiLeaks, Wiki, WikiLeaks using Bitcoin and Satoshi's subsequent requirement to leave the public eye. I'll take a quick look at the table of contents. Um, so let's go over to the table of contents and I've got the book on Kindle here. So, you know, the table of contents goes through um, introduction, how and why Bitcoin works, posts on crypto mailing lists, scalability, 51% of tax, uh, decentralization versus centralized control, inflation, transactions, orphan blocks, synchronization transactions, transaction fees. Um, you know, remember, you know, all this stuff is being discussed at a time when um, many of these things have yet to exist. You know, obviously it was several years before they actually uh, started using transaction fees, but they had their early discussions back when Satoshi was very active on it. The confirmations, block time, how Bitcoin solves the Byzantine general's problem uh, through decentralized consensus, uh, double, how it defeats double spends and the proof of work. Uh, why the analytic curve cryptography and denial of service attacks, uh, the transaction pool, uh, the, on the first release of Bitcoin, on uh, various purposes for which Bitcoin could be used, um, you know, on decentralization, the money supply, on uh, time stamping documents, uh, the Bitcoin talk forum, on, on Bitcoin maturing. Remember, this is back in 2010 to 2011. So that's a you know, actually, actually probably talking, yeah, 2009, 2010, when that Bitcoin maturation post, <laughs> post was posted. How anonymous are Bitcoins? Um, you know, Q&As by Satoshi uh, on deflation versus inflation. You know, way back Bitcoin version 0 0.2. Ways to do payments for an order. A proof of work's difficulty. Uh, whether or not which open source license to use, GPL or versus MIT, um, money transfer regulations, you know, and the possibility that there are cryptographic weaknesses in Bitcoin, um, a post on the a first Bitcoin faucet, uh, posts on transaction problems, Wikipedia entry on Bitcoin. Apparently, they had a lot of problems with Wikipedia back in the early days. Uh, on the possibility of stealing coins, some flaws, flood attacks, uh, the Bitcoin faucet being very popular and running out of funds, uh, high cost of mining back in those days, uh, the definition of money in Bitcoin, uh, on short messages in the blockchain, and, and handing uh, transaction spam flood attacks in the blockchain, pool mining, um, the very early days of pool mining. And then closing off, we'll find WikiLeaks using Bitcoin, which led to uh, Satoshi Nakamoto giving his last post uh, and vanishing from public life back in 2010. So all of these are in this book. It's a fantastic book. Uh, highly recommend it. So let's go back to the slides. 
Again, this has been a very short uh, book review of the book of Satoshi, The Collected Writings of Bitcoin Creators, Satoshi Nakamoto by Phil Champagne. Highly recommend this for anyone interested in how Bitcoin got started and what Satoshi's uh, philosophy and perspective was on this electronic cash system that he created back in 2008. So thanks for watching this short video on my book review of the book of Satoshi. And tune in next time for another episode in the Understanding Crypto series by Thomas Plunkett.